क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज अ प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू बेस्ड ऑन अ कन्वोल्यूशन थियरम ऑफ लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑल्सो यू शुड नो all the statement properties all the property statements which we derived in laplace transform but if you are not aware of it then go through it now today's question is little bit similar to a problem number 1 now just go through the question number a problem number 2 obtained x1 of t convolve with x2 of t as i told you in previous video also a convolution maybe they give you a convolution sign that's why in this question i have placed a convolution sign using a laplace transform where my x1 of t is u of t minus 2 and x2 of t is del of t plus 6 in both the parts the functions are delayed here it is delayed by 2 where this one is advanced by 6 now whenever a time is delayed means what we have to use a time shifting property so let's see first of all we'll go through the formula of convolution then we will use the different properties of laplace transform according to definition of convolution theorem of laplace transform whenever two functions convolve with each other and whenever in here if we want to find out a laplace transform fit then first of all just do one thing find out laplace transform of both the functions separately and then just multiply it so now i am going to find out a laplace transform of both the functions separately first of all my x1 of t is my x1 of t is u of t minus 2 and x2 of t is del of t plus 6 as both the functions are delayed which means we have to use a time shifting property now the laplace transform of x1 of t that we are going to find out A Laplace transform of x1 of t is represented in Laplace domain by x1 of s, and it is nothing but a Laplace transform of u of t minus two. Now we have studied one formula, a property, a time shifting property. According to time shifting property, if the function is delayed by some value, then first of all multiply. e to the power s this s power we have to multiply it with that delayed value now that this delayed value is minus 2 means according to time shifting property this delayed value is always multiplied with the s which is placed in power of e and then we are going to find out a laplace transform unit step function that is input function and yes we have solved this u of s for a part in previous numerical also u of s is 1 by s means what our x1 of s is e to the power minus 2s upon s so let's say this is our equation number 1 this is our value number 2 and now x2 of t will be transformed into a laplace domain and that answer will be a answer or equation number 3 now we will find out a laplace transform of x2 of t laplace transform of x2 of t is represented by x2 of s and x2 of t is basically given in question which is del of t plus 6 now here also the function is advanced by 6 means what we have to use a time shifting property so according to time shifting property what will be the x2 of s let's see here the del t function is advanced by 6 means what this plus 6 is multiplied with s which is placed in the power of exponential term that is e to the power s this s is multiplied by delayed value with a sign here the value is plus 6 means here i am going to write only 6 into a laplace transform of input function here input function del t so we'll write here del of s now we know that the del of s value is always 1 whenever we transform del of t in any domain then it always gives a value which is 1 so here e to the power 6s into 1 which is nothing but e to the power 6s this will be my equation number 3 now substitute equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number 1 
Laplace transform of x1 of t convolved with x2 of t e will be first of all a Laplace transform of x1 of t that I am going to write e to the power minus 2s upon s whereas x2 of s I have already solved that is this is a to the power 6s. Now once again basically this uh, both the results are present in a product form means what here in the numerator part we have an exponential term common which is a base term is common which means the power can be added we have e to the power 6s minus 2s upon s now we know that 6s minus 2s answer is 4s and this is the result of convolution term now we will solve we will increase some difficulty level in next question further questions so stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much